What's happening everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Today working in third person shooter kit, two point something. <laughs> nah, it's uh I'm in 2.0, but I, I have modified it a little bit, uh slimmed it down a little bit, and I threw it in a map. This is my original Zayden map. Um This map was designed with this kit in mind as well as the way that you already see my animations where my character is very loosely jumping around and able to, you know, scale and jump all over the place and do flips and uh, throw magic and all this. Um, I wanted to intertwine these styles of gameplay and when I was inside tight spaces like these, I was going to have these be maybe the starting locations before the character has so much um, agility um, and I was going to have her ba basically be able to maybe hover and float around, um, not be able to go up too high or too low, which I'm still working on some of those uh, schemes. But I did integrate the flying in. As you can see here, I have several characters on the screen already. These characters are attached to path nodes. I'll go ahead and bring this all up so you can see it. But there's path nodes scattered throughout the level. Um, they pretty much flawlessly execute this. So... Um, the kid has just been uh, overhauled and I'm loving it. Um, this is not the review. I will be doing a review on this kit. This is just basically showing. Let me slow this down a little bit because I, since I'm in this little small space, I don't need this to be moving so fast. Um, but um, the way it's set up right now is pretty good. Um, you'll see I have some effects scattered around and I'll show you guys like once we go into play, I'll talk more about what's going on. Um, this guy here is actually my companion. He's a friendly. He's going to be following me around and also doing what he has to do. Um, and I'll explain a little bit more about all that as well. So let's go ahead and go in. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back into game view because I like to just keep it clean. All right. And um, like I said, guys, I still got a lot of work to do um, on this. But this is where I'm at right now. Let's go. So basically, this guy has a position he's going to come to, and that's where he's at. So that's his little position with me um, when we're in idle. Um, I'm still want to add some of her animations in and take out some of these soldier animations. Um, But the animations seem to work well um, so far. Um, I w would love some IK. Um, I tried to add IK. Um, it works, but it starts to make things way down heavy, maybe because of the procedural animation. I still got to figure all that out. Um, I did add, like I said, the flying. Um, the weapon changing, as you saw there. Um, the flying, it's designed. There we go. Um, to aim at the nearest uh, enemy um, It doesn't work perfect yet. Um, it's still got some flaws especially with certain weapons um, Get rid of him right quick and I could demonstrate a little better here. Okay shotgun. This is a very good weapon um, This one works better than uh, I want to get rid of this automatic that one doesn't work well with it. So we got some guys here. I got some health packs. I got things set up, guys, and you can see my background. I'm still working on my color scheme here, but you see us very purpley uh, clouds of smoke. There's a reason for that as well. So but anyway, if I'm in flight mode here. I can fly around pretty smooth, pretty fast. Um, these guys got some pretty good aim, so flying is not recommended in close quarters because they just gonna basically light me up. Um, I did add climbing points and things like that. Oh, wow. Get around the corner. All right. I think he got him. Nope. Got to get rid of him myself. But the guys are pretty tough. I do love the AI, man. They're definitely my, my favorite addition to this is the AI. It's awesome. Um, I forgot to grab my grenade, so I'm going to go get it. And I do have the vaulting in here. Um, the, 
like all the features work. Oh wow. Then I have a spawner in here and you see those guys spawn there, so. Oh man. That grenade just fell off of something else. I'm not going in there yet. I'm gonna go out here and uh, refill my grenades. So let's go do that. Let's refill our weapons. Now let's go back in here and face these guys because he's already taken out everybody out here. It looks like um, my health is down low, so let me get that. Okay, so there's two guys in here. Now I got these grenades. These guys are in trouble. The slides, everything works, so. There we go. So everything works as you can see here. And like I said, the, the shooting and flying does work. The aim is not perfect because the IK bone wants to move when my character is flying around. And so what I'm going to have to do is provide some restrictions to it so that it does not um, just fling around. And it aims exactly where I want it. Whereas you can see it is aiming and going there. I've been working on it and it's getting a lot better. Um, anyway, um, that's what I got so far. And I've just been working on this. This is a little basic level here that I set up. And it plays pretty well. Especially to be in a, inside of an open world. This level is playing really beautifully actually. Um, let's go around here. Like I said, I'm still working on exactly how I want my color scheme. Oh, man, he kicked it off. I was going to try to do a, a silent kill on him, but I never will with this guy with me. But I got the guys pretty tough. They spawn with a random set of two set of weapons in two slots. So they get random weapons in two slots. Um, and then they also have a random health from 150, I believe, to 200. And... Um, I want to set random uh, kill with the headshot as well, but I don't want to do it here because I want to make it more where if the character has a helmet, I want to associate it with other other features. And you see how I have the smoke dust uh, just kind of randomly around the level, so I'll explain how I'm doing that. Like there's there's things that I'm gonna put in the video that I'm you know I'm, I'm constantly working on sets of videos. Right now I'm really trying to finish up the uh, video for the sequencer so anyway we could check this out right here now I set this up and this is blueprint driven but there we go so and we come out here we got a save point and then we actually can I can come out here and fly a little bit in the purple haze and I gotta work on the collisions and stuff out here and also the weapon doesn't always spawn correctly got him oh they hot right now Woo. and see the guys will take you out um, like I said I, I love the AI um, they're very persistent um, I'm going to go ahead and get into some strategies with them now since they, they know I'm here. I'm not going to be able to fly up and approach them. Also, I don't have the animation set for when I'm hit and flying. So, I need to get all that set up with like the procedural animations and things like that. So, we're just going to have to deal with these guys right now. I didn't even really try... Uh, I didn't go in and look at all the details of 2.5 as far as like I just started merging my project with it and I haven't really taken the time to see exactly what's different as far as uh, how it's playing like I know the animations felt a little bit smoother there's guys in here so got one at least Ooh, I told you, I knew there was guys in here. Got him. There we go, we got him, we got him. Trying to decide what I want to keep. 
think I'd rather have the automatic rifle. Yeah, it's got more bullets too. So, I'm gonna go down here. And even when the sun comes up, it still keeps that the purple haze. And like I said, I'm working on it to make it more of how I want it. Woo! These guys are not playing. I should have flew in. That was on me. And I didn't even get to the save. And you can see when I switch the weapons or when the weapon is away from the character's hand, it has that effect. I'm working that into the flying and everything. And also I want to work on the weapons, not like I said, moving and, and moving with the characters, like the with the hand, like it's attached. You can tell it's still attached. And that's fine because it's a bone, but I need to constrict that bone to do what I want it to do when the character's flying, so. Woo! Man. Got him. And yeah, I'm loving it though. Um, I love my fast uh, flow as well, don't get me wrong, but I do love the fact that I can have certain areas, I will now be able to have certain areas where I can set up, wow, when I can set up a, you know, different style of combat based on the location, you know, so that's what I'm kind of loving about this, and that's what I'm, I'm seeing for myself with this kit, and, and, and it goes more into what I was originally intending to do with the project, so... Oh yeah, I forgot, there's a doors over here. There's a drone out here, but I don't need to face him yet. And then there's a spot here. And man, I run by him all the time, man, and this is my own level. I see one guy didn't didn't spawn. And that's something to do with how I have the spawner set up. Oh wow, I gotta go around here. I'm not doing that. I happen to know about this level, so. So I'm going to come this way. Yeah, see, there's two guys that didn't show up. But see, I knew there was a box here, so... Some of these guys are not spawning. Whoa. He started setting it off, didn't he? There we go. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, like I said, everything works well. I did put climbables. I didn't put them everywhere. Like this area doesn't have climbables in some places. Um, but like I said, it works relatively well. Um, I'm satisfied with where it's at so far. Um, and it's only going to get better. There we go. And I got another safe spot here. And I gotta make the save do something, make a sound or do something when I hit it like I have normally. Um, I'll just be setting up the saves the same way I've had them already. Oh wow. Got him. It tore me up. So like I said, when I'm flying, you can see I died. the character just kind of sat there and died. And even when I get shot, the character freezes in, in the air because I do not have the animations set up for that yet so it just freezes because it doesn't know what to do but I'm, I'm loving it so far man I think like I said man it's going to be a wonderful addition to the project this level doesn't look that bad man to be old There's another drone in here, I hear it. There it is. Yeah, 
I love it. Did a good job on all this. And I have way more weapons scattered in here than I would normally have in a level. And look right here, no collision. So I haven't set the collision up in this room yet. I actually just started setting these rooms up. So I can imagine there's probably a lot of stuff not set up in them. But that's it, guys. I just wanted to show you guys that's where I was at with it. Um, and I want her to just be able to more glide than just fly like she right now will actually fly and go up. Um, and I do want that, but that's more for when she's out here. So what I'll be doing is setting limitations when she's inside so she can't fly up and, and high and around like that. Um, and I'll just work it into the plot of the of the game. But um, so far, I'm loving it. Everything's working pretty well. The hard fall works. She'll die if she falls from too high. Um, I do want to put my uh, water volume in so I can start messing around with the swimming because the swimming is here and available, but I just haven't tried it yet to see how it's going to react and respond. Um, I'm sure it'll work as well as the flying, which basically just comes in because they're using the same um, component so and two of these guys never spawn here so these are this is all probably collision related but yeah everything looks good man like so far everything looks good like I said man I'm satisfied with it thanks for stopping by man Amp Capo Black Adonis Games um, check me out go check out the discord show your love and your support man facts oh 